Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 113. It's already sunny outside and I've got a different smoothie today. It's a strawberry, banana, yogurt, milk and some chocolate protein powder rather than vanilla. Yeah, buddy. All right. Awesome with the tank tops as well. Got to the number much quicker than anticipated. The limit of the limited run and just waiting on a few payments and the tag company with the tags. All right, yeah, buddy. So hopefully next week. I thought I could get it this week, but it looks like not quite. But I'll be updating my story as well on Instagram of what to do there and how it's going. But today, training-wise, it is two session days with quite an intense, long piece down the track of Henley Royal Regatta. So looking forward to that. Automatic locking, it seems. All right, let's get to the club, nice and safe. And we've made it to Leander Club on a wonderful morning today. You know, I saw some people driving past, driving other way in their cars, and they just had a sewer face, just like driving with a sad face. If you're driving somewhere, if you're going somewhere, just remember in the morning, it's an opportunity to have a great day. Obviously, I don't know everybody's story, but just find those opportunities to enjoy yourself and have fun. All right, let's go get changed and see what the first session is. Let's do it. And welcome to Eric Thoughts with Cam Buck and on the water with Will Geffen in the bow seat of this eight as he gets in with his Willie socks, pushing off the dock, getting his top adjusted and rolling along the water on Hen in Henley on Thames. So I'll get a good video of all the lads in the eight, but right now we're still in selection mode, so nobody knows who's gonna stay in the eight. But once that happens, we'll get a sweet video of the boys. But for now, you know what this er this Eric Thoughts is about due to reading the title. But this is inspired by a couple of Pat Hanratty's vlogs actually. Go check him out, put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below if you haven't seen already. So we, we made a vlog uh, a couple of weeks ago called Getting Fit for Rowing. And then he made a vlog this week, How to Not Win a Rowing Race. And they're really connected to fitness. So obviously the first one, Getting Fit for Rowing. That's what this Eric Thoughts is going to be about. And what really made me kind of talk about this was his how not to not win a rowing race because you really saw what being fit can do so pat unfortunately it seemed wasn't quite fit enough for the full 2k race and blew his doors off a little bit but that's awesome to get to that stage and he gave it he gave it a lot even a little bit of chuck up at the end of that video but we're going to focus on how to get fit for rowing and so this is obviously my opinion and there's many different methods of getting fit, especially for other sports. But I think I'm trying to make, make points that are applicable to all different types of sports. So obviously there's different types to get fit. There's different methods, but hopefully I've got these four steps that I think, or four, four things that are really important to getting fit especially for rowing and obviously these could be applied to any other activity that you may want to partake in. So, they're in no particular order. Step one, you have to start off right. What do I mean by that? Okay, so when I started back from the surgery, back from the 12 weeks off, I didn't just go, okay, it's time for 50k days and some weights. I actually started I think my first workout, if you go back to the first workout on the vlog, was 10 minutes on the bike at 100 and, 110 watts. Maybe I think, maybe I'm less than that. But that was it. That was it for the day. And that was previous to that. It was literally go a walk to the shops. So it's, it's, fitness is all about building up. So that's you start off right because one, it's very easy to burn out in any activity. If you start off hammering it, one, your body could get tired very quickly, and two, your mind can just struggle 
to adapt and hold on. So if you start off right for where your body is and then just gradually climb up the fitness ladder, then you'll have a much better sort of time at it. And this leads into step two, consistency. So you don't want to say, okay, my plan is to get fit on the Monday. And then on the Tuesday, you say, nah, I don't really, I'll, I'll work out on Wednesday. And then it gets to Wednesday, ah, nah, I'll work out on Thursday. And then you've, you've maybe fit in three workouts during the week or even just one workout during the week. And then you realize that workout I did on Monday has now been negated by not really working out for the rest of the week. And then you think, okay, next week I'm going to smash it. And you do four sessions during the week and you're feeling great. Then the next week you do one again. So really it's all about consistency. Find a schedule that works for you and then just adapt things around that. Or depend on whatever your priorities are. Say you just want to get fit so you can look sweet or just, I don't know, go on some gentle runs across the back of the Thames. That is up to you, but all of these things need consistency. You get better if you keep at it, especially in the fitness land and rowing land. If you're just able to keep on at it, whether that is every Monday or maybe you have time to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday or Monday, Tuesday. If you're able to just consistently work out not only will it help the fitness, but by creating that schedule and sticking to it every week or every month, every day, whatever you may come up with, it just makes it that small bit easier. And that brings us to step three. You can't, it's kind of connected to consistency, but fitness isn't just an overnight thing. Maybe even not even a couple weeks thing. So for me, I had a, when I came back from surgery, so that's been, I think it's seven weeks since uh, since surgery, since I got my tonsils out and since I was given it all clear for my glandular fever recovery. So that's seven weeks for me to get back to decent fitness. And for me, that's, that's coming off of training for a lot of time. So I already had sort of a base, my body already wanted to get fit. But if you're coming from a background where you're, you haven't really worked out much, you can't just expect to be fit, even in sort of seven weeks. I mean, hopefully you could be, you will be, but you could just have to understand that it can take a long time. It can t- it doesn't just happen the first week or maybe even the second week or the third week or the fourth week. But if you stay consistent, if you start off right and build up, you can definitely get fitter. Your body wants to adapt. You get put your body under stress, it will adapt. And that's just, that's just, that's just science, really. And then we go to step four, the workouts of how to get fit in rowing. Unfortunately, it's not rocket science. It's just, or at least I believe, it's just miles and miles and miles. So obviously, going back to point one, two, and three, Miles and miles and miles doesn't mean doing what guys do on the national team. It doesn't mean doing 400k a week. It doesn't mean doing thousands of weight sessions. It means doing what is a lot, not a lot, but like enough for you. So say you do zero, doing 20k a week on the rowing machine or on a boat is a big step up. So it's doing a lot of miles for your level of fitness and ability. And then you can, like we've said, we start building up. So you've got your miles and miles and miles. What other workouts can you think of? So if you, if you go to Pat Hanratty's vlogs, they thought three by two Ks, 30 minute rate twenties. They are fantastic workouts and they put your body under great stress, which is great to let your body try and adapt. And they had a fantastic idea for those workouts and obviously there's loads of other workouts and it's really all about making your body adjust by putting it under stress that's what fitness is just making your body adapt and so if you can make your body adapt by doing any workout whether that's low intensity high intensity you should be able to see results but of course not perhaps not immediately and let's go to Bonus step, step five. This is where I kind of like the steps here. 
this is sort of my main one, it's attitude. It is motivation, and that's why I do Motivation Monday, really. It's just all about, it ties into point one, two, three, four. If you enjoy your work, if you enjoy starting, if you're really motivated to start working out, you're going to continue, or you're going to try to continue. If your attitude is to really keep pushing and be consistent, and you're motivated to keep working out on that Monday and Friday, you're going to manage much easier than if you're not really, you've not got that motivation, never got that attitude. And same goes for step three and four, long time and those long miles, or just those high intensity workouts where you'd want to quit, but you're going to keep finishing them off. It's all about finding that attitude and that could mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. What I find that really motivates me is having that goal. So for me, that goal is just breaking ergs in November. So to break ergs in November, I need to be yamming on it for a long time, looking at six months. And that is really having that goal. And I've spoke about breaking things down in your head, whether that is doing a 16K and counting, or whether that is having small goals, stretch goals, big long-term goals, short-term goals. It can be all up to you. But it's really important to really step on it in, in terms of attitude. And when you're enjoying it, like I've said before, if you enjoy what you do, it just becomes so much easier. Hopefully that answers a little bit of questions on how to get fit for rowing. Let me know in the comments below if you would like a similar conversation or maybe something more in depth. In fact, thank you Pat Hanratty for the inspiration of today's Eric Thoughts. Remember, I'll put his link in his, to his YouTube channel in the description below. I'll see you after I've finished this workout. Yeah, and we've made it into the crew room again for breakfast. You wanna make it on Bread, time? beans, uh, eggs. You know what? I probably, if I'm honest, ah, probably lovely. Like Great a, session, eight with the boys um, preparing for uh, pieces this afternoon in the next session. Yeah, buddy. That was Will Geffen. Nice view of Will Geffen in the bow seat. Maybe we can talk to him later on, but we'll see. Just analyzing some video now. Then we're gonna eat this food, recover, and get on to it. Get some yamming on it for the next session. Let's get to it. And we've made it again back into the crew. But now we're over in the corner with the lads from the eight. Bass has been trying to eat his breakfast, but for about two and a half hours now. Uh, I'm still a little traumatized from yesterday's session. Um, they gave me a bit too much, couldn't finish it. <laughs> Trying to get some of my friends to help me, but just not happening. Just not. I need Cam's help. He needs to be on the gains train. Oh, yeah, buddy. Food is fuel. Come on, food is fuel. Yeah, food is fuel. We need to fuel yourself for the next For the next session, yeah. Feeling pretty good for it, gonna get some caffeine in. Uh, yeah, super excited. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get rolling. <laughs> And we've made it back into the crew room after some wonderful yamming on it in the eight with the boys. Now it is time to eat the food in the crew room. Vass looks like he's having some difficulties eating. Are you okay, Vass? I finished my food this time. <laughs> <laughs> Great success! Alright, remember food is fuel. 
We had to fuel up after yamming on it very much hard in the pieces. Fraser, would you agree with the pieces? Would I agree with the pieces? <laughs> yes, I, I completely agree with the pieces that they, they were pieces. <laughs> exactly. All right. Eat this, recover, and that, I think, will be the end of the vlog for today. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button, and have a good one.